Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your day and welcome you to our special webinar, Virtuous Circle of Perfect Pricing, a free service department analysis offer presented by Dynatron Software and Autosoft. My name's Chris Williams. I'm the learning manager at Autosoft and I'll be your host for today. Our featured presenter is Rob Malaris, market president of Dynatron Software. I'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining us today, Rob. Thank you for having me, Chris. Absolutely. And uh, folks, we have a large group of customers who have dialed in and are attending today. So we've muted the phone lines in order to reduce any background dealership noise. You'll be using the questions feature within the webinar software to ask any of your questions. Communicating with the questions pane is really simple. You'll find the toolbar in the right hand side of your screen to ask a question, expand the questions pane by clicking on the plus sign. Once you've done that, just type in your question into that question pane that opened up for you. and then hit send. All of your questions will come directly to me and I'll field them to Rob uh, at the end of our presentation time today. We'll try to get to all of your questions, but if we don't get to your question, we'll reach out to you via email after the event and provide an answer. You'll also be provided with our panelists information at the end of today's presentation should you have any questions in the future. We are recording this session, so don't worry if you miss something. You'll get an email with a link to the recording over the next few days, and we'll also be placing the recording inside our Help Center. Don't forget to check out the AutoSoft Accelerator. Every month we send the Accelerator e-newsletter full of DMS tips and tricks to our customers. Be sure to check your inbox monthly for this newsletter. Also, I want to let you know about AutoSoft's cloud backup service. It automatically backs up your DMS data daily, retaining all Autosoft historical data and keeping it securely off-site in the cloud. Cloud Backup will also hold on to a previous backups for up to 30 days for extra protection and help restore your data to your server should you ever need it. Also, we have Business Continuity, which gives you all the benefits of Cloud Backup plus the added protection of data restoration to a cloud server if your server is ever damaged, stops working, or becomes otherwise unusable. You'll be able to get back up and running using the cloud even without a functioning server of your own. Autosoft DMS users with on-site system choose cloud backup for efficient data protection and security. Choose business continuity for an added level of protection that allows you to restore your data to an online server while yours is out of commission. I'd like to run through the agenda with you today. We're going to talk about the auto industry landscape, give you an introduction to who Dynatron software is, explain the virtuous circle concept, the average revenue growth, the launch structure, which is the plan of attack, and our long game and driving more volume, warranty parts margin increase, auto soft dealer testimonials, our special offer details, and how to enroll. At the end of that, we'll go ahead and talk about uh, some Q&A that you may have and answer up those questions for you. So this is um, one of the most competitive car markets we've had in history. Front end margins and grosses have fallen to their lowest levels in history. It's an importance on improving your fixed operations profits, which are critical to the overall health of your dealership, as you know. It's often difficult to find where those profits exist. So who is auto, or I'm sorry, who is Dynatron Software? Well, Dynatron Software is an AutoSoft Connect partner and the industry leader in fixed operations reporting and development. They offer dealerships a roadmap to measure market and merchandise their service department, which can lead to better customer retention and increased profitability. The offer is uh, being offered to AutoSoft dealerships by Dynatron Software, and it's an opportunity to get a free, no-risk service department analysis that will highlight your department's greatest areas of improvement and profit growth. 
So what I'd like to do now is turn the presentation over to Rob so he can tell us more about this. Perfect. Thank you so much, Chris. Let me just make sure I'm sharing the correct screen with everyone here before we get started. All right. Chris, can you view my screen? I can view your screen, but I think I'm seeing the presenter side of it. Okay, perfect. So let me just change that around a little bit here. All right, let's try this again. All right, is that better? Perfect, thank you. All right, fantastic. Chris, thank you for that great introduction and I appreciate everyone joining the webinar this afternoon. Uh, we're very excited to be offering this complimentary PGA analysis to everyone on the call today. The purpose of the call is really to quantify the benefit and the value of this analysis and hopefully earn everyone's buy-in on this complimentary analysis. Uh, the upshot is if we can get everything started potentially today on getting the data over, within about a week and a half to two weeks, we'd be able to actually sit down and look at everyone's numbers to really determine what your individualized opportunity is. Now, as an organization that's been around for just under 30 years now, we're actually averaging about $200,000 in increased profit annually with only about 90 days worth of effort with the virtuous circle of perfect pricing. I know most auto soft dealers are probably a little bit smaller than the average size or what we would consider the average size dealer. So looking at that from a perspective of your size dealer, if you're about half that size, think of it as a thousand or a hundred thousand dollar opportunity. So just as a quick background, again, we've been over, we've been in business over 26 years and we've been developing and refining solutions for the automotive fixed operations industry. We currently operate with over 2,300 active clients all over the country, a lot of which are in large groups like Penske, Hendrick, AutoNation, Berkshire Hathaway, Hudson, just to name a few. We've been focused on fixed operations improvements throughout that 26 plus years in the industry and currently analyze over 1.5 million repair orders a month. The bottom line is we've been able to add over a billion dollars in incremental hidden net profit captured by our clients over the years we've been doing this. So the question is, where do we focus? And more importantly, where can we highlight hidden opportunity through this complimentary PGA analysis? And the short answer is if you look at the top of this chart, the virtuous circle of perfect pricing starts in some very specific key areas of your service operation. Those areas include competitive pricing, maintenance pricing. We really have a heavy, heavy focus on repair pricing and repair pricing compliance. And we're gonna unravel that in a minute to really define what that means. We also have the ability to file and or submit your warranty labor rate increase as well as your warranty parts margin increases if you've not done that already. So this is sort of a glance of what we will typically work on within the first 90 days of enrolling a new dealership and where we've been able to garnish that $200,000 annual impact. As a result of doing so well, our mission statement is to help dealerships make a shipload of money. And that's shipload. So there's no confusion there. So where do we launch? What does it look like when we earn someone's business? Well, the first things we attack are the profit areas of opportunity that are the easiest to impact, that are the most sustainable, and that have the most significant profit opportunity. Those areas are typically going to be customer pay pricing compliance, which we're gonna break down here in a moment, repair pricing optimization for your market, and then once we've gone through those initial two phases, we've maximized our potential warranty labor rate submission. So that's when we go ahead and file on your behalf. So what is compliance? Well, lack of compliance typically costs a store between five and $8 in customer pay effective labor rate. And this is a gap historically that we've been able to plug with about, within about 30 days of initiating the program. The challenges that we're able to solve our service advisors generally can easily override management's established pricing policy. Service advisors can hide discounts in places management cannot easily see. And finally, technicians can get paid unauthorized extra hours without management knowing. So these three issues, if you will, 
have easily been solved by an automated report called a repair compliance report that will illustrate any time labor sale amount adjustments happen, any time discounts are misappropriate, uh, misappropriated, and any time flat rate time might be out of line with your labor time guides, whether you're using all data, Mitchell, Motor, Chilton. This one report will encapsulate all of that information daily to make sure management has full transparency and creates full accountability for the service advisors to follow the policy. And again, this is really step one that has traditionally garnished about a five to an eight dollar increase in customer pay, uh, customer pay effective labor rate within about 30 days of turning it on. Once we're able to garnish 70 to 80 percent compliance out of your team, phase two is to look at the market and determine how close your repair rates are to the perfect target price. Now, let me just define what perfect target price means. There is a sweet spot or a fine line that's perfect for retention and profitability. That by definition is the perfect target price. So by utilizing data from our 2,300 active customers, we're able to put your store into similar size, same brand stores in a similar geographic area. What that allows us to do is determine first and foremost, what is the perfect target effective labor rate for your repair work based on your market. Once we are able to identify that perfect effective labor rate target, we actually will go in and customize and build a labor matrix grid for your store and submit it essentially to you to use that same day. That will, on average, bring up the effective labor rate another 10 to $15 on average. And once we put that in, that, that drops to the bottom line immediately. Now, just those two steps alone, if we look at the average increase by franchise, has garnished a $7.15 average increase before we ever even talk about filing for the warranty labor rate increase. So naturally, if we're elevating our effective labor rate by on average $7.15 within that first 30 to 60 days, you can all imagine what that's going to translate into when we're talking about our warranty labor rate approval numbers. So how do we maximize the warranty labor rate submission? Well, the business intelligence tool, EBIS, is capable of running detailed analytics across millions of different data points instantly. So what would take a fixed operations director, a general manager, or a service director weeks to compile, our system can perform literally in seconds. It's capable of applying both the OEM as well as the state guidelines with all of the inclusions and exclusions that are outlined and provide immediate intelligence on the best possible data set to get you the maximum increase for your warranty labor rate submission. I love to quote Warren Buffett because he's one of our biggest customers with Berkshire Hathaway. His, he basically has two rules of business. Rule number one is never to lose money. And rule number two is never forget rule number one. Now, because this process is generally inefficient today, our core philosophy as an organization is that this should have always been an administrative function. In other words, because we can file traditionally 60 to 90 days earlier or before your average service director, us being able to pull down that opportunity faster than what you would have done and maximize it more efficiently and effectively. We're essentially saying that we can do this every year and take it off of your plate as a responsibility and get it done better and faster. You know, every day that you wait, the meter is running. It's almost pure net profit you can never get back, but you can capture it today moving forward with a partnership. Just a couple quick case studies before we move on. Bond and Chevrolet joined our organization we went through the Start Smart Virtuous Circle of Perfect Pricing. We got their effective labor rates from 97.36 to 119.24. We submitted and we were actually approved for $21.88, which was over $777,000 in annual impact revenue. Greg Lair Buick GMC, similar story. We earned their business. We got their effective labor rate maximized to 127.71 for their market. We submitted and got them approved at $27.80 more than their current warranty labor rate, 
over $102,000 in revenue from Greg Lair Buick GMC. Dayton Toyota, we got approved at a $12.87 increase. You know, Rydell Chevrolet is one of my favorite case studies because they were on an automatic increase or an option C for a, for a GM dealer. And most of you probably are aware of what that means. Essentially, that's a $2 to a $3 lift year over year, but you don't have to do the work to get it, right? So they were on that option. And you can see here, the fixed operations director during that term actually filed manually and got approved for a $7.70 uh, approval or increase for their warranty labor. That equated to $179,748.80. That guy probably got a promotion. That was a great job. But if you look at the difference between a manual submission, $7.70 approval, versus the business intelligence tool after we were able to maximize it, down at the bottom, you'll notice we got them approved shortly thereafter at $29.06, which was over $839,000 in annual impact revenue. A huge difference. Now, to set the expectation on averages, you can see here, we've got a list of manufacturer approval by state and manufacturer. The average approval for our warranty labor rate submissions are about $14.66, which is almost double what the average approval rating for a service manager or a fixed operations director doing it manually would actually receive. In dollars, that's $86,857.70 in annual revenue on average. Now, what happens beyond that, right? Beyond the 90 days where we've maximized effective labor rate by working on compliance, repair pricing, filed your warranty labor rate, what then, right? Well, the long game is beyond that 90 days, we're going to work on some more of the customer pay maintenance pricing optimization. So outside of the 90 days, we're going to go in and we're going to utilize customer data to really determine if there's major variances on your uh, maintenance items. That does include a mystery shop. Why does it include a mystery shop? Well, if we're trying to maximize our ability to be as competitive as possible in our market, it would make sense we need to know apples to apples, what the aftermarket and dealers are charging around us for the same services. So really the long game beyond that 90 days where we get that initial bump is going to be heavily focused on the maintenance, pricing, optimization, and include a mystery shop. The mystery shop consists of 60 mystery shops per quarter. We actually mystery shop your dealer as well as 11 competitive locations five services per quarter, and we rotate through the 20 most valuable maintenance services and diagnostic services each year. We have quarterly reviews where we sit down for 30 to 60 minutes. We review the results of the prior shopping period. We make the recommendations on pricing adjustments based on those numbers. And then we'll select the vehicles and services as well as the shops for the next shopping period. So, we're able to also create dare to compare boards with this information. In other words, what do we do with it once we have it? Well, we want to empower both your service advisors to be able to sell services better and know that you're competitive, as well as we want to make sure your customers are aware that we're competitive. So we can help maximize the efficiency, as an example, by creating dare to compare boards for you guys to publish on your site, on your shop wall, wherever you want to put it. The virtual performance group data looks a little bit something like this. And again, if you're a rural GM dealer, let's say in South Dakota, okay? Essentially, once we upload your data into the system, we're gonna be able to go service by service and analyze your GM dealer against 25 to 30 other smaller GM dealers in a similar market. We'll be able to look service by service, how often are we selling alignments? What are we paying the techs? What are we charging the customers? And any major areas of variance, any major areas of variance are going to be highlighted. So what that means to you all on the call today is it's going to be very clear where we need to focus each month. Top five opportunities are X, Y, Z. If we can move the needle by two tenths on this service and charge another $3, we're going to make another $32,000 a year. We'll have quantifiable data and numbers to really show you how far you can move the needle to get in line with those other GM stores in a similar market. So in conclusion, let's talk a little bit about warranty parts. Warranty parts currently is the most hidden best opportunity in the market. 
Why do I say that? Well, OEMs are now mandated to pay retail margin for warranty parts under the new state laws. Most states now have laws. Dynatron is the best in the, in the industry at maximizing the potential results, and our analytics tool EBIS finds the best RO sequence similar to how the warranty labor rate works. We literally do all the heavy lifting with unmatched return on investment end-to-end -end process from analysis to submission. So a lot of these states, since we published this particular map, do have warranty parts laws, including Tennessee, Michigan, Colorado, Iowa. All of these states actually are green states now. What that leaves us with is really five or six states total that don't have warranty parts laws. And if you'd like more information on whether or not your state does have a law, you can contact me after this meeting. Let's look at some averages on our warranty parts margin submission approvals. If you look at this list by state manufacturer, you can see that the average starting markup percentage on warranty parts is somewhere in the neighborhood of about 40%. The average approval is closer to 72%. So what that means is from start to finish, we're averaging about a 26.04% improvement on your warranty parts sold. In dollars, that's $78,796.22 on top of the warranty labor opportunity. So in conclusion, the, com the complementary PGA analysis will essentially provide us 18 to 24 months worth of your data. We upload it into our EBIS technology tool, and then we go through a process of categorization and organization of the data. What this will allow us to provide you is detailed insight on exactly what your opportunity is in each one of these areas that we've outlined in today's meeting. So again, in a week and a half, two weeks, we'll be able to actually sit down again, show you exactly what your compliance looks like and quantify dollar amounts of missed opportunity, show you what that virtual performance group of other stores looks like in, term, in terms of the perfect repair price, We'll also look at the warranty labor rate, warranty parts margin opportunity, as well as share data within that virtual performance group of other similar stores and similar markets to really dig deeper and figure out beyond 90 days, what are we gonna look at? What are we gonna work on? So Chris, I'm gonna hand this back over to you. We'll do a little Q&A here now. If anyone has any questions, please use that questions pane within the screen share. Yeah, absolutely. Um, should anybody have any questions, you can start to put those in now. Uh, while we're getting there, um, this is one of those offers that I'm extremely excited about. Uh, and a couple reasons for it. Dynatron Software is offering this to the Auto Shop, AutoSoft dealerships uh, free to do this analysis with the service department. So if you look at what that means to an actual dealer, that's a $699 value. Upon your enrollment, AutoSoft will transfer two years of historical data to Dynatron software. Now keep in mind, this offer is valid for 30 days and the first 500 dealers to enroll. Dynatron will contact dealers directly to schedule the analysis review approximately 30 to 60 days from the date of data transfer. This is a no obligation offer. Uh, you know, this is one of those items that I, I encourage you to take advantage of. After this webinar, you're gonna receive an email from AutoSoft with the subject line, your free service analysis authorization. In the email, just click on the link or download the authorization form, or you can go to go.autosoftdms.com forward slash dynatron.html. Complete the form authorizing AutoSoft to share your data with Dynatron and click submit on the online form or complete the signed or send us back to signed PDF. You can email it to dcsconnect at autosoftdms.com. You can fax it to 724-906-2117. Or if you prefer, you can mail it, attention DCS team, 61 Executive Court, West Middlesex, Pennsylvania, 16159. 
So this time we'll go ahead and field questions. Uh, let me go into our questions pane. Rob, I don't see any questions at this time, so I'm going to thank the group for attending today. And also, if you have any additional questions about this offer, feel free to reach out to Christina or Rob. In the next couple of days, we'll be sending you a link to view this recording. We covered a lot of information and the recording gives you the ability to watch it at your leisure. We also encourage you to share the recording link with your colleagues in case they missed it. Once the recording is available, you can find it in the Help Center as well. It'll be under the Video Learning section. This is the end of our webinar today. On behalf of Autosoft and Dynatron, we'd like to thank you for attending today. We hope you will take advantage of this great offer. Thanks, Rob, for extending this to our uh, Autosoft dealerships, and thank you, Autosoft dealerships, for attending. Have a great day. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.